In this video, we are going to solve percent problems. Now, don't get scared. They're relatively easy. But before we get started, we got to get out. Let's get started right there. What number is 50% of 30? Well, some of you may be thinking, hey, 50% means half, and half of 30 is 15. That's the answer. That's true. But the purpose of this video is to learn how to translate these word statements into mathematical equations. Once you know how to set up the equation, it's relatively easy. So let's go. What number, let's represent the unknown number as x, is translates to an equal sign. 50%. When we translate 50% into a mathematical statement, we either write it as a decimal or we write it as a fraction. In this case, we will write it as a decimal. Remember, you move the decimal two places to the left when you're changing a percent to a decimal. So therefore, we get 0 0.50. We don't have to write the 0 to the right of the 5 if we don't want to. But I'm going to put it in there. Of translates into multiplication. 30, well, we write in 30. There we go. And there's our equation. So all you have to do is multiply 0 0.5 0 times 30, and you get 15. And so what number is 50% of 30? It's 15. There's the equation, and we solved it to prove it. Let's do another one. What number is 36% of 54? Again, what number? That's our unknown. We'll represent that with x. Is translates to equal. 36% translates into 36 hundredths, or 0.36. Of is multiplication. 54 is 54. And all we have to do is calculate 0.36 times 54. And Charlie, what'd you get for that one? 19.44. Very nice there, Charlie. 19.44. Okay, let's do another one here. What percent of 54 is 17? All you have to do is read and translate. So what percent? That'll be represented by our x. Of is multiplication. 54, 54, is, is our equal sign, and 17, we put that in. There's our equation. So x times 54 is 54 times x, which is 54x. So our equation is 54x equals 17. To solve for x, we divide both sides by 54, and we get x equals 17 over 54. Charlie, what's 17 divided by 54? 0.3148. Very nice there, Charlie. 31. 0.3148. And we must remember that initially we let x represent a percent. So our final answer has to be a percent. Now we have a decimal value that was given to us rounded to the nearest ten thousandths. And to convert a decimal to a percent, Charlie, we move the decimal two places to the right. So to write our final answer, it's 31.48%, and our percent is rounded to the nearest hundredth. So to answer this question, what percent of 54 is 17? The answer is 31.48%, rounded to the nearest hundredth. There you go. Or rounded to the nearest hundredth of a percent, rather. Let's go to this problem here. 24 is what percent of 60? A very common question. I got asked this question this morning. By who? Never mind, Charlie. Okay, 24 is what percent of 60? Let's read and translate. 24 is, that's equals, what percent? That's our unknown. So we'll represent that quantity by x of is multiplication, put in our 60, and there's our equation. 24 equals x times 60, or 60 times x, 60x. To solve for x, we divide both sides by 60, and 24 divided by 60 is 0.4. Four. That's four tenths. Now remember, our unknown quantity x represents a percent. That means our final answer has to be a percent. Therefore, we must change this decimal to a percent by moving the decimal two places to the right, and our answer is 40%, and that's it. Let's do another one. Four sevenths is what percent of five eighths? Now don't get scared. We're going to use the force here. Okay. Let's read and translate. Okay, Charlie, pay attention. We have four sevenths is, there's our equal sign. 
What percent? We're going to represent that unknown quantity by the variable x of is multiplication and bring down our 5 eighths. So there's our equation. 4 sevenths equals x times 5 eighths or 5 eighths times x or just 5 eighths x. And to solve this for x, we are going to use our reciprocal method, meaning notice how we have 5 eighths x. Well, we could divide both sides by 5 eighths. But dividing by 5 eighths means you're multiplying by 8 fifths, the reciprocal. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to multiply both sides by 8 fifths, the reciprocal of 5 eighths. And on the left hand side, we get 32 over 35 up there. Now notice on the right hand side, the eights cancel out. So we do the fives and we end up with 1x for our answer. Now we have to calculate 32 divided by 35. Charlie. What'd you get? 32 divided by 35. 0.9143. Very nice there, Charlie. That's rounded to the nearest 10 thousandths. And now we'll, we need to change our decimal to a percent because X represented the percent we were looking for. So we move the decimal two places to the right and we end up with 91.43% for our final answer. And that percent, that final percent is rounded to the nearest hundredth of a percent. And that's enough with percent problems for now. We'll see you again soon.